Cute to talk, YouTube. This is like a nookie one woman speaking. Now, before I begin, I'd like to apologize for the absence. A week ago, I had UMass Band Aid, so I couldn't, like, get to a review or anything. So, yeah. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing Bionicle set number 70790, the Florida Skull Spiders. It comes with 149. 145 pieces, as you can see before you. Not any, not very much pieces are really interesting. Aside from the fact that most of the parts in here are all black. There's this piece, which is new. Compared to this, these are uh, somewhat similar to each other. And the fact that they're both three meters, three modules long and have the uh, peg and axle implant. But on this one, the axle covers up two modules, whereas on this one, the peg covers up two. That I kind of find interesting. Here's the uh, headpiece, which is a uh, printed chest piece designed to resemble a uh, spider's eyes. Not really that much to it. This you're all familiar with. Which is the uh, base body for these skull spiders, only in gold this time, which is uh, supposed to be the golden mask of skull spiders. Yes, you can uh, make it to a skull spider yourself by attaching limbs, but uh, me personally, I kind of like to think of it as the Lord of Skull Spiders working for the Skull Grinder. Then, then after Ikimu's and Nakuta's death, after the death of the mask makers, the Skull Grinders secretly forged this mask for the Lord of Skull Spiders to control his minions. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the pieces, other than all this, which is uh, transparent stuff. This we've uh, gone before, but I don't think in transparent orange. This is a, uh, I think, a 135 degree angle lift arm in a trans bright orange. And uh, this we've got in trans, it was an orange. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the parts. So, just give me a moment, just give me a moment to get to the build. And here we have the Water Skull Spiders all built up. Now, Bill was uh, satisfying and all, but <clears throat> final product seems somewhat small to be villainous. In fact, just for comparison, here's War Greymon from Digimon Adventure. See, War Greymon would barely have a problem defeating this this guy. <clears throat> And then there's also the big guy, Shotman DX. See, DX is way, is wicked bigger than the Lord of Skull Spiders. Seriously, one, seriously, for DX, one stab at that DX double blade and Lord of Skull Spiders is history. Seriously, it's real bad news for this guy. Seriously, a match. However, he does come with a really neat action feature where when you push these two claw in together, the legs come in, giving him a, a claw like action. Though, so my only problem is I uh, kind of wish these were uh, black and steady yellow and. I only wish you could pose the legs a lot more than the action feature and these uh, ball joints on the ends of the legs. Head, as I said before, is a uh, printed chest piece and then some teeth down here. The uh, upper part of the head can is in fact on a ball joint and can go in any direction. The 
fangs can open and close. So you can imagine him spitting venom on the excess blade. And then of course the main and then of course the golden mask of the skull spiders. Which again I kinda like to think of as the uh skull grinder forging this for the uh, Lord of Skull Spiders to control his minions. So not saying much as he would still be a match to the Toa. Seriously. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Lord of Skull Spiders. Uh, not so great size, not so great possibility, but really nice color scheme. <coughs> Sorry about that. So, yeah, please rate, comment, and subscribe. This is like a nookie, what I'm saying. A feeder, Zane.